Hey YouTubers, this is Old John. This is part two of my video of fixing my fence that was blown down by 50 to 70 mile an hour winds about a month ago here in west of St. Louis in Missouri. And the fence was, the section of it was blown off. Here's the sections that are intact. This piece here was blown off and the block was even ripped up. So I've since reset the blocks using these uh, concrete liquid nails are called. Got a Walmart, about $4. And put several layers underneath the blocks. You can see it's a gray appearance. See right here. I put three or four strips underneath these blocks, put it down, I sensed, um, worked on it, and it's, it seals in like 10 minutes or so. I did it on a warm day, that's why I didn't make a video of it. But these bolts had been bent over and I pounded on them with a hammer, and the uh, blocks stayed intact, so it's good. So the next phase will be to Put the post on and then put the center section which i'm going to cut down because part of it was damaged i'm going to make it shorter and um, i'll do that next okay youtubers i've um, taken the post down and i've cut it it's a heavy plastic i was able to i cut it with a saw circular saw and um because I'm going to make this shorter than the previous post because the top part of this of this uh, middle panel was damaged at the top so I'm making it shorter gives a little better view of the backyard so I removed the cap it was glued on took that off so I'm going to get rid of this piece I've mounted the post and I'm having trouble seeing but you probably can see these bolts were secured into the blocks and then held on by washers and nuts. So I've got this anchored. Make sure it's level. So now, just simply lower the cut piece onto the galvanized post. It has two holes here that screw in and they actually go into the galvanized post to hold it solid and then I'll put this bracket on here in the bottom and there's already a bracket on the other side and I'll just drop down the panel into there so now the next job is to cut the panel and of course the top goes on like so so Next job will be to cut the panel. Okay, I'm ready to do the next part and actually I've completed that. This panel, which looks like the one behind the piece that's standing up, was damaged in the wind. The end of it was broken off and the lattice broken loose so I decided to cut it down <clears throat> make a shorter fence piece so this is the completed piece and this will be set into this the brackets here and then I'll have to 
make holes for the new brackets. And here and then attach hose with screws and we'll be completed. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, I cut the fence because it's a plastic fence, thin plastic, just with my saber saw. So that wasn't too hard to do. Okay, I marked the holes where this bracket goes. Just use the pencil. about an 8 inch bit and the bottom two holes are going into the, the metal under post to give it more solidity so I have to mark the other side yet well, I have marked it I take it back and then I have to drill the holes here and then this piece Okay, again I marked the holes on the other side just with a pencil and now I'm going to finish drilling the holes with the eighth inch drill. Now I'm ready to put the bracket on. Now I have a bracket at the bottom and the top got the one on the other end secured so I'll finish this one and then we'll be ready to set the new fence piece in place okay I've set the fence in place in the new brackets and now I will put the screws in at the top and bottom on each side. And we'll have a new shorter fence. I'm going to have tape on temporarily on this top piece. I'll take that off and then glue it on. So I'll do that next. Okay, YouTubers, there's my finished fence. It's a little over 38 inches tall, which is the standard height for a railing. And to summarize, I took a piece that was blown off during our 55 to 70 mile an hour winds here in Missouri <clears throat> about a month ago. And the panel was damaged at the top and on the end top. So I cut it down to this height, cut the post down, and reconnected it, made a shorter fence, which I think is balanced looking, and actually gives us a little better view of our backyard, and I think fits in real well, and the cheap skate in me saves some money, because one of these panels is at least $150 without shipping so anyway that's all for now youtubers if you're interested in any more of my do-it-yourself projects visit me at Harrison 4803 over and out